we got a pretty good early start this morning, about 6.15. And I have to give Sonic credit. He had a really good attitude this morning. I was really proud of him. And we're trying to cover as much ground as we can before it gets too hot. The heat has really slowed us down. Yesterday we had to spend basically all day under a bridge because it was just way too hot to safely hike. And Sonic, he sort of wilts in the heat. He, he gets a tummy ache and he doesn't drink enough water when it gets too hot. One thing I've had to wrap my brain around and I'm still wrapping my brain around is hiking with a young child, you have to give up on your own desires and aspirations. You might feel like, oh, I can do 20 mile days for the next week. And maybe you could, but I have to hike his hike, not mine. And that means slowing down, doing fewer miles, taking longer breaks. At times it's discouraging, but I guess it's what you do as a parent. It's like not just in hiking, but throughout life. You put your own needs aside because they need what they need. They need you. We're going to take the earlier road into Tehachapi. There's, there's two ways to access Tehachapi. They're about eight miles apart. So we were going to go through to the second Tehachapi axis and go into Tehachapi there, but because of this heat slowing us down, we're going to take the first access into Tehachapi. We'll stay two nights in the hotel and we'll slack pack the second day and that will give us a full day today, a 17 mile day into Tehachapi and then an eight mile day tomorrow, which we'll call a Nero. Um, eight miles being near zero. Nero is near zero. Look at this mountain. If you zoom in and you look over there, you can see like 11 switchbacks. Is that crazy or what? They should call it Switchback Mountain. Right now we're starting a big four mile climb that will take us up into the Tehachapi Mountains. The day is just warming up, it's already quite warm. We need to try to do this climb before we're in the full heat of the day. Yeah, it's one of those kangaroo rats. It somehow died. Okay. We just found out why the mouse is dead. And it is because of that, which is a little snake. And he's like, giving us like a little baby rattlesnake warning. And we're gonna give him a wide berth. So this is kind of fascinating. This is really interesting here. We can see this dead mouse, which was bitten by that rattlesnake. And you can see right there where it was bit. And there's the venom seeping out. Isn't that interesting? But also sad. But also sad. Yeah. Well, hello there. We're taking a little break right now in the shade. It's real hot outside. Well, out there. <laughs> Look at me! I keep telling you to pull it out. Why don't you pull it out? I'll hold the camera while you pull it out. Look at how ugly my teeth are. Let's pull that out. Wiggle it. Try to go again. Oh, there's no more white. You use your fingers like this and pull on it and you go. Well, I'm going to come out because the big two can't push it out because. So it's never going to come out?
early afternoon and it's very, very, very hot. We are trying to get down this mountain to Willow Springs Road, which is one way to access to Hatchapi. We could not get there soon enough because it's so miserable. The sun is so hot. We're still hiking down to the road in this blazing sun. A little bit of a wind has picked up, so that makes it a tiny bit more tolerable, but it's still really bad. We're one mile away from the road now, and we're definitely suffering. We're both feeling extremely uncomfortably hot. I think when we get to town, top priority is gonna be getting cool drinks. We finally made it to the road. Now we're gonna hitchhike and get into town as quickly as possible. Now we ended up at Burger King in Tachapi. Got the Whopper. Then we also saw some little lambs back there. Mm-hmm. It's a bunch of sheep. Clearing brush. We've got french fries. We've got an impossible burger. We've got big sodas. I I defeated the impossible burger before. Yum. That's a big pile of french fries. Was it a hard day today? Mm-hmm. Because it was super hot. Mm-hmm. You had a good attitude today. There's only one problem. We need to pull that tooth out. Oh, we're so full. What did we do? We feasted like kings. At Burger King. We're headed over to our hotel. There's three hotels in a row. Sort of fancy, less fancy, and very not fancy. And we're staying at the very not fancy one. This is our hotel room. We've got two beds. This is actually the handicap accessible room. It's the only one available. So we've got this nice big shower. It's like a big bathroom, a big room. Fantastic. We took a swim in the pool. We took showers. And I just ordered some pizzas that I'm gonna go pick up. But while they're cooking, I was just working on washing some socks. So this is how you wash your socks in the hotel. So you have to do a lot of rinses before you can add soap because they carry so much dirt. And it is a good thing there's no smell-o-vision in here because the smell is just like revolting. And that's Sonic's socks that smell so bad. They're super, super crusty. He just wears them for days. I'm gonna try to do a better job of having him change them. We had a really nice evening in town. We swam, we ate, we ate some more, and now we're ready to go to sleep. See you tomorrow.